Good afternoon to everybody who is today in our webinar. My name is Yvette and I will be the moderator of the today webinar end-to-end -end network monitoring critical KPIs to track. A few organizational things before we start the webinar. The event will take approximately 40 to 45 minutes and we will finish with a Q&A session at the end of the webinar. So if you have any questions, you can type them at any moment in the chat window. We will also stream the event online in the social media channels. Uh, so we will appreciate if you can give a thumbs up and share our video. Uh, what else? Maybe I should also present you to our speaker today, Yusuf Osturk, who is the Chief Software Architect of Virtual Metric and one of our co-founders. Hi, Yusuf. Hi, Yusuf. How are you? <laughs> very good. In this sunny afternoon <laughs> here at my location, it's very nice. I hope that all our attendees are also in good mood and good health. How are you, Yusuf? I'm also fine, thank you. Okay, I hope I can do a good webinar today and everybody will, um, yeah, like it. <laughs> Okay, great. So uh, a little bit about the topic of today, we will speak about end-to-end -end network monitoring and critical KPIs, which we need to track. Why is actually important to have an observability over our network? Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so you can share your screen and you yeah. can start the stage I, of I your- I can start, sorry. I was getting the, some chats. Uh, okay, yeah, perfect. So yeah, welcome everybody. Um, today I will yeah talk about the end-to-end -end, end monitoring as uh, Yvette mentioned. And yeah, let's start uh, quickly so we can fulfill our times. So I would like to start with the critical network KPIs. Um, there are some of the things that we always do and we always talk with the customers today. And the, the one of them, the first thing actually is the port utilizations. Uh, it is very critical for you to uh, monitor your ports, like the network device ports. So if they are using like the 100% uh, utilization or if they are more than like 80%, etc., because if the utilization is high, it means it will bring the second one, the package errors and the discards. Because when you're port is fully utilized, Utilized, it means the new traffic will, will find it hard to get in and it will bring you the errors and the discards. So with that, we always say that, yeah, you should really monitor like the each port, if they are even critical, you can create like a group. So you can say like the uh, out, output uh, ports or like let's say, um, if that's going to your VPN, if it's going to connect with another data center, etc., you really need to find, you really need to see the port usage. And the second one, actually, I will I will skip a little bit fast because I would like to show these things on the on the dashboard to you. The other one is hardware utilization. Um, today, some customers are only monitoring the port usage. But of course, the network device itself, that's also critical. I mean, you need to monitor their sleep usage, uh, their uh, memory availability, uh, maybe the fan status, if the fans are okay, all these things. So uh, with virtual metric, you are able to monitor your physical entities as well, all these physical parts of the network devices. And we uh connect to the device and we realize like okay this is a device from cisco this is a device from uh strix this is a device from brocade so we get the uh, uh, important entity uh information and we get their health status so it will help you to monitor your hardware health as well and the next one is uptime and availability um of course everybody's trying to get some kind of uh, uptime or available to reports. But uh, the problem is uh, many products on the market today, they are monitoring your ports or like the devices based on their interval. And that interval is usually five minutes. And sometimes, yeah, they are not recommending it or they ask more money from you. They say like, yeah, okay, if you don't want to monitor every five minutes, if you want to monitor every one minute, then you have to pay me extra. So 
because of that, you are not able to get the real time metrics. And based on that, you are uh, losing some of the critical downtimes, which means at the end of the month, maybe you will see your hardware or like port availability like 100%. But you know that in that one minute uh, time period, actually the device was like down for, like, for about like maybe 10 seconds. So you are losing this critical information uh, in that uh, controls. So with Virtumetric, we made this part only the port checks, available checks like every second. It's uh, enabled by default. So we are getting getting these information like every every second. And if your port is down, we notify you through the change tracking. If your port is up again, we also let you notify that, okay, yeah, this port was down and up uh, back in like five seconds or 10 seconds. And the best thing is you can go to the change tracking and you can see how many times during the day that port is up and down, like 10 times, 20 times. And you can see that, yeah, OK, there is an issue maybe in the port. So I need to check the hardware information or, yeah, maybe some of the messages from syslog. So I will, yeah, I will tell that in the syslog message part. So the next one is service monitoring. Um, I call this service monitoring because um, when you are using your network device, I mean, network is there for most of the time services, right? I mean, you have your own uh, maybe website, you are using some of the email programs. Actually, your network infrastructure are making these services up and available. So maybe checking the network port usage or like the network usage is not enough. And sometimes we believe you need to get into the deep inspection, like what's happening, what's going through on my uh, network device. If there's a high utilization, what's happening? I mean, is, is this one of my services or someone is attacking to my uh, environment? What kind of traffic is going through? So to understand that, we are combining our network monitoring with the NetFlow source. Today, which metric can easily collect IP fix, uh, NetFlow, and the SFlow protocols. So, based on that data, we are combining the two devices, two metrics into the same dashboard and the same reports. So, we are telling you that, okay, you have 100 megabits of port usage, but through that port, you have backup uh, traffic. And then you can find out, okay, yeah, there's a really high backup uh, traffic. So maybe I need to stop it now because it's affecting some of the services that I'm monitoring, or maybe I should increase my port limits. If the, uh, the device is not handling it well, maybe I can upgrade my device to another better one. So that will give you some of the insights. And the next one is the IP monitoring. So let's say you find out your uh, backup traffic. The next thing that you want to find out is which IP address is causing this. I mean, OK, I see the backup, but from where? I mean, what's happening? Is this like a backup uh, traffic? Or let's say someone is uh, installed torrent in their PC and they're really utilizing your uh, network. So you need to be able to find out which IP address is causing this traffic. And for that, Virtumetric is showing you, giving you IP to IP, which means today's um, also the subject, end-to-end -end monitoring. Basically, we tell you like, yeah, your traffic is coming from this destination it can be like a social media, YouTube, um, like Facebook, etc. You are getting this traffic through your devices. And from that device, it's going to someone else's PC. So that is very important that you can easily find out the IP addresses. You can search in them. You can filter them. You can sort them out. And you can find out the, the highest usage in the network. Um, you will find out how easy with us to see this kind of traffic and filtering 
and you will love it. I mean, it's super easy. It will make your life very well uh, and yeah, easier. And the finally, syslog messages. Um, sometimes it's not enough to to get the data through the SNMP of from your devices because some critical messages are exposable via uh, syslog maybe. Uh, because of that, Virtumetric today supports syslog protocol as well. So Virtumetric becomes like a syslog source and you are just configuring your devices or anything. It doesn't matter where you send it. And you just send everything to uh, Virtumetric. And yeah, we get that data and we show them into the nice graphs, like the, all the usage, like the peaks, if there are more events in the last 30 minutes, etc. we show them to you. And you can create the alarms. You can create, for example, brute force alarms based on syslog events. It's very easy. You can do your tasks through that as well. And of course, all these things are giving you uh, power to detect network anomaly. So next one I would like to talk about it is the network anom animal detection. So um, of course there are many ways to find out if there's an anomaly in your uh, network. I mean, you can check many metrics, but based on our experience, I think there are some really good sources that you can track and you can find out. The first one is syslog messages. Uh, many devices are giving you all the critical information through the syslog. You are able to get this through the syslog. Like it can be your IPS IDS device. It can be like a network device. It can be firewall device. It can be FortiGate. It can be like, like your load balancer F5. So we are able to get all these syslogs. And this is giving you deep insights about your device and activities you find out what's happening in the network. The second one is checking the flow analysis. So first you get your syslog messages. You have one data in your hands. You know what's happening. The second part with the flow analysis, you find out what's happening, like what kind of traffic uh, pattern is uh, happening, which IP addresses are using that, um, causing that uh, utilization. And you can see another metric with those flow analysis. And then um, maybe you have some IP addresses or like the, yeah, uh, usually IP addresses or like sometimes a user information through the syslog. The next part is of course, tracking this user. That is actually also a virtual metrics job to do when you discover one IP address or like one uh, user is causing some of the activities, then Virtumetric is offering you user tracking or like uh, TCP tracking, TCP uh, analysis. So we are able to monitor like your Linux devices, Windows devices, yeah, all the hardwares in your environment. And we tell like, okay, this user is connecting to this machine we have this IP address, so you can match that IP with the main IP address in the syslog or like the uh, flow analysis. And then um, you can find out what is that user actually doing in your environment. So when he entered your uh, network, what's he doing? Where does he go? Uh, what kind of activities he does in the network? Is he trying to do brute forcing in one of the servers? Like, do you get any error notifications from the Windows event logs if he's trying to hack or maybe through the uh, yeah TCP connectivities he is trying to reach some of the private network parts I don't know that is depends on how you would like to do this um, yeah process you are defining your uh, process and the, all the the checks but virtual metric is allowing you to do all the uh, notification rules based on your um, yeah, system checks. Of course, um, our idea in somewhere in the future to do these things, animal detection uh, via AI. 
But to be honest, I mean, there's no real AI in the world, right? I mean, everything is based on training. If someone is telling you that there's an AI engine, which means that means there's a some kind of AI that you train. If something happens, you just train them, which basically the same thing actually when you enter the, your rule or like the process, just the, you're teaching the machine. Or the other one is basically someone taught every scenarios for you and they already created some of the predefined stuff. Today, maybe for example, Microsoft is putting like billions of dollars into the security because yeah, they are trying to get all the user behaviors like the, the wires, uh, new wires developments, all these things. So they are trying to create the rules about this so they can track, find and stop it. So yes, our future, maybe we also wanna do some kind of uh, trained AI or yeah, it will be user input. There will be user input so you can train it as well. But today you can do this by writing your own process, your own notification rules into the system. And based on that, we can give you notification if something's happening. And as I mentioned before, these rules can be executed and can send it to you by, by email, SMS, or any other instant management. And you can get them yeah, through your phone or somewhere else. Okay. After these uh, network parts, let's go to the real demo, live demo, and let's find out like how we do this on the dashboard. I will just uh, stop my share and I will share my other uh, screen. One second. I can finally refresh this. I can use that. Okay. Meanwhile, while Yusuf is switching the screens, I just want to remind that you can all type your questions at the chat window and we will be happy to answer them at the end of the webinar. So we are in the dashboard at the moment. And actually I have like 10 minutes as I see. So I will try to show a little bit of the dashboard as well, like how easy it is that you can do anything. You can change their spa uh, space usage or like the, their place. Uh, you can add calendars, uh, time, clock, uh, different uh, metric types like the donut charts, notes. But let's see, for example, this one. Let's remove this one. Okay. Processor course, I will be really quick. I don't want to take too much time here, but I would like to show this to you. Let's add memory usage, uh, processor load, and IO. Uh, let's say storage write IO, or maybe total IO. And let's add read uh, bandwidth, uh, received bandwidth, and the sent bandwidth. That's it. Basically, it just created all the old metrics you want to add and you can customize this. You can say like, yeah, I want to add some nice chart behind it. And then I want to color. I want to put some color into the memories, for example. Let's go to the fill area through submit. And basically, that's it. And then I can say like, yeah, I want to see this uh, information into the line charts. And I'm going to see some large. Okay. As you realize maybe in the background, it was updating the reports. It's in the real time. So it's really fast. You just say like what you want to see. And then I can easily switch between the things like area chart, bar chart, uh, stack chart. So I can see like the stack usage. And then let's go to date table usage, for example, this one date table uh, view. I can add some extra in inventory information. Like let's go to inventory server. And I'm saying that yeah, name. I want to see the name, uh, OS name, uh, serial number. And if the, the devices are waiting for the reboot. Okay, let's move their 
places a little bit like like this and as you see i just created a nice reports about it and then i see some usage like 64 percent memory usage 8183 what you can do i can come here and say like yeah i just want to see the devices with the memory usage more than eight percent then i have two devices then i can even increase the condition with saying that also I want to get only the operating system contains 2016. And yeah, basically you can filter anything that you want. Uh, it's in real time. You don't have to wait like hours and hours with like the, in the other uh, products because most of the products are giving you predefined reports and you are not able to change it. You just need to pick from somewhere. But here it's fully customizable. It's like you are making like a custom report. You can change anything. You can change type. You can see the different things. So yeah, it's the power of virtual metric. And let's say you create this, just save it, export it. This will give you the nice templates that you just create what, what you created. It will be in the templates. And you can import this into the dashboard with the different uh, options here, submit. And I just have the same thing here, uh, not the light chart because I didn't save it last time. So let's rename this as, um, yeah, test report. I'm right clicking into that, add to playlist. We have a feature called playlist. Let's put this into second part and let's check a little bit heat map maybe. Do we have heat map? Yeah. Okay, the playlist is when you create so many dashboards and if you have only one centralized TV or something, you can right click to the playlist and say like yeah, every 20 seconds, I want to automatize this or like 60 seconds, five minutes, three minutes, it's up to you. And when you click, okay, it just automatize everything for you. Um, you don't have to do anything. It just rotates the dashboards every 20 seconds. And uh, when it's reached to the end, it will go to the next one. Something like that. And you can also use your uh, keyboard keys, like to go uh, further, like this one. I see like a real time CPU usage. I can click P, pause button to pause and see all the things that I, I, I can get. And I can click pause again and it will continue. And before I switch back to the network, I can show a little bit the uh, heat map part. Let's add a new uh, heat map widget here and network monitoring ports. And what I want to add is network ports usage. Now I want to do like medium submit. Uh, let's get this to up. Oops, we have many ports. Let's make this small. It depends on your, of course, screen resolution. So here I can define alarms because I defined some alarms here. I see two ports are having some kind of issues. Let's click on it. It says there's a high network usage. I can track them. I can find out these, for example, these ones are uh, disabled ports. There's nothing on them. There's no traffic as you see, but here there are like some traffics received and sent bandwidths. I can check everything here. And the nice thing is I can click, uh, sorry, this will give me alarms. I can right click and say navigate to. It will navigate me through the uh, device itself, the port itself. So let's see a little bit the network part. So here we have two network devices, uh, switch zero one, and there's one switch zero one extension like there's another switch, maybe this is like a rack switch, I don't know. And I see their usage, I can zoom in, I can find more details in the time, I can go back, I can see the errors in this uh, device. It says there's a ping issue, ping is disabled. Um, we, we are getting like the high transmit traffic, so you can create these kind of rules. And 
If I go to VLANs, I see all the VLAN information on this device. If I go to another one, I see 271 VLANs. If I click both of them, you see there are 458 different VLANs. So I can go to change tracking. Let's go a little bit back in time, like 24 hours. I can see port up and down status, like how many times it happened. Here I see four up and downs. Let's zoom in and find out which ports are having up and down, usually 28. And I can go uh, to uh, switch 01 and go to 28. This one. So this one was having some kind of uh, yeah port status issue. So I can see, I can find out like the last seven days of usage if there's an issue that I can see. Maybe there there were like a high traffic that was one of the issues it was causing, and then I can um, yeah find more information about it on the flow analysis. As you see, we have lots of data. You can find all the peaks. There's one peak here that went to the real top almost 900 megabits so i found out this one and go back and let's go back to the last 15 minutes what's happening in the real time so in the real time usage i see the data is around the 200 megabits and now let's go to the end-to-end -end monitoring let's click on traffic uh, let's go to top because i do not collect in this one Let's go to traffic. So here, that traffic, it's coming from the NetFlow source or IPFIX source. In this case, I don't know which one. But here, I see in and out traffic. If I click on the source traffic, it gives me the detailed information, like which IP addresses is making the, the most of the traffic. And in that traffic usage, it also shows like uh, what is the percentage of it. Like, like it's 16%. This one is using the 12% of the entire uh, network traffic there, like 6%. And this is real time, by the way. You can, you can basically do this. Come here. Um, I see many different IP addresses, right? I just say like, I just want to get source address starts with, uh, begins with, let's say this one. Uh, there was no one. OK, one second. I just need to find one uh, IP address like this. And at rule, source address contains In this case, it's filtering the old IP addresses with, with this IP address. So I can find out maybe the network usage, let's say from the older network devices or the network subnets, I can find the older traffics. And in the down below, I see the out traffic. So this is based on source address usage, but I see in and out traffic. And then I can find out like, yeah, which IP address is causing this traffic and I can do more uh, details from the server monitoring or yeah, I can check my syslog messages if there's something with it from the IPS IDS. So I can find out what's, happen what's happening here. So let's go to the destination traffic. And through the destination, I see the traffic coming through the, going to this one and to out, it's coming to this one. So all the information again, the traffic usage, et cetera, et cetera. And then I can go to conversation part. So the conversation is giving you the more details, like, OK, you saw the total number of traffic, but how much uh, application usage is there? So here, I can see the, the IP to IP address usage with the application name. For example, there, there was like a, some kind of email uh, transmit between these IP addresses, and that used 222 megabytes of traffic. And that is 10% of the total traffic here. And let's go um, service control, some syslog message traffic, SMTP. It's, 
as you see, it's uh, updating in the real time. This was like the first one, now it's the second one. And the first one is now the HTTP, HTTPS traffic. So I can monitor all these things in the real time. And the, finally, I can go to application. And through the application, I can monitor the application usage. Let's say I just want to see the um, SMTP usage. So application name contains SMTP. And it's only giving me the SMTP usage. So I don't want to uh, take uh, more of the time because I'm almost at the end. Uh, uh, we need to get uh, questions. But as you see, we can find out all the traffic usage. It's like layer seven uh, details from your port usage. And then you can also go to the details and find out uh, each traffic usage from the, each uh, port. If I do like this, I can get multiple ports. I can get their uh, usage. I can go to conversation. I can find out more information about these ports itself. And let's go to uh, application after that. Let's click one of them and application. So I can find out even what's happening on this port itself. Like you can even see uh, per port and you can find out all the uh, usage on, on this port. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Like how we do the end-to-end -end network monitoring, like all the details, all the traffic flow, uh, conversations, the application information, everything that you can find out is here. And based on that, you can get all the details alarms and this will help you to yeah make your network environment better hopefully thank you very much yusuf it was quite no insightful way. and it's always better just to show real reports and how people can analyze it uh again i will give the word for questions uh you can type them at the chat window we have approximately 10 minutes so i'm pretty sure we will be able to cover all of the questions i will start with one question which is coming from our social channels and the question is how you can actually use the alert part of virtual metric or any other uh, type of monitoring solution uh to keep the network environment under control can you set up a word per port and how are they actually working uh, in the optimal way so uh, you can create your alarms based on device or like the port uh, if you go to the network uh, settings part and then the notification rules uh, you can basically say like yeah i just want to do the notification rule based on network port in that case it will give you the same information like the uh, port name description or alias, even the IP4 address. I mean, you don't have to say like, yeah, I just want to get the information or uh, rules or like the email from these ports, but you can say like, yeah, I want to get the mm -hmm. uh, rules or like the notifications from these MAC addresses. You can even say that. So you can create based on that. And then uh, you can go to actions and you can create, yeah, many different, um, notification actions like the pager duty you can even make them to call you uh, slack microsoft teams and you can yeah get these information through the actions okay and can and you set up an alarm if uh, for example the network traffic on specific port is going higher than some number yeah that's also really easy just going to rules uh counter mm -hmm. just go to port stats uh, sorry, you need to go to the network device and let's say port stats. And here counter that you can select many different counters like banded capacity, uh, utilization, or like the yeah, errors, etc. You can just say like yeah, if the input utilization is uh, the value is higher than this megabit or this uh, gigabit that you can type, mm -hmm. and then it will give you an alarm. And you can even do multiple groups. If this happens or this happens, et cetera, et cetera, then give me a notification. You, you can even do that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I think you mentioned earlier during the webinar that virtual metric is supporting a heat map. Uh, yeah, as part of the product. Can you use the heat map for tracking the ports on your network? Yeah, yeah. Um, I just added that this one. Mm -hmm. uh, here I see all the network ports, but of course you can come here and use the custom filters. If you go to the network port, uh, there's no search here. Okay, here port. Then here you can select something like let's say from here I just want to monitor this or this one or you can even use the port groups I mean you can create port groups and if you say say yes safe then it will only show you three three ports so yeah you can or select them individually or you can create a port group and the port group you can do many things like the MAC addresses based on MAC address IP address or the alias and you can filter them based on that Okay. Uh, the next question is from Jessica about the additional information. Yeah, after the webinar, we will email a recording of the webinar with a few useful blog uh, articles. We have quite good developed blog, so if you're interested to learn more for the network monitoring or uh, for virtual metric as a product or useful advices, you can always check our blog. Any other questions? Somebody who wants to ask something? I don't think we have any other questions at this stage. So thank you, Yusuf, very much uh, for the good presentation. Thanks. We will try to prepare also other useful webinars which can focus on the queries of your infrastructure monitoring in the future. So stay tuned uh, by subscribing at our newsletter on our website. You can also follow us on the social channels and stay updated with the future WIFE events. Thank you very much for being with us this afternoon. Wishing you all of the best and let's keep in touch for future events. Bye.